the Christian faith isn't a bunch of propositional truths and concepts. It's about a relationship with Jesus that he speaks to us and guides us and, and, and leads us. The question is whether or not we're listening. So that still small voice that says, listen, 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 don't watch TV right now. Don't do it. Get into my word. I want to speak to you. We should listen to that. Get up, get up, get up and get into my word and pray. I want to, I want to tell you things. We should listen to that. Don't buy that right now. It's not going to go well for you. We should listen to that, right? What check, you know, you know, you know check up on, on him. Listen, always listen to that. Check about her. Do a little background check. Listen to the Holy Spirit guides us because Jesus wants to speak to us. But oftentimes we don't. And then we wonder why is it so jacked up? Because we're not listening. Here's, here, here's, here's the big idea in closing. Why we should listen to Jesus. Because church, at the end of the day, when the whole thing wraps and the dust settles and you and I check from this side to the other side, it is all about Jesus in the end. And so church, when you leave today, when you come today, when you go today, when you sit today, I want you to understand this. This creation and all of the new creation is all about the accomplished, finished, awesome work of Jesus. And that he would say to you and me, I love you enough to die for you. If you were willing to repent of your sins and follow me, you will be my heirs forever. Is that not absolutely incredible?